Um, you know, just uh, the credit goes uh, to my staff, uh, to our team. Uh, I've been gone all week. Uh, we had a death in the family and a, and a funeral this week. Um, so I haven't been here for practice. And um, it, it's hard to be gone, but it's a lot easier when you, when you know the people that you leave behind. And uh, the quality and character of my staff um, there are some teams I would guess across the country that can't wait for an opportunity for the head coach to be gone from a practice uh, so that they can kind of sail through it and, and maybe uh, be allowed to do things that they would normally do. Um, but that wasn't the message I got from my staff, that these guys were locked in, uh, they were ready to go. Uh, the plan uh, defensively is a little bit complicated against Georgetown. When you're doubling, when you're not, what we're doing on the ball screens with certain guys who were not. And we made a few mistakes, uh, but for the most part, uh, we executed it pretty well. And it's one of the better offensive teams in the conference, a team that scored you know, 86 points, I think, against us last time we played. So you know, I, I'm really proud of what was accomplished uh, this week when I was gone. And, uh, uh, I'm lucky to be surrounded by the people I'm surrounded by. Uh, Caleb, I guess, um, looks like you got going with that little mid-range pull-up off the shot fake. But, it, you know, you practice that shot a lot. Is that something that you feel like if you can get that first one to go down, especially in, with that type of shot, you can get to a pretty good rhythm? Yeah, I think, I mean, for a lot of basketball players, whenever you get to see the ball going early for you, um, it definitely uh, gets gets you going momentum-wise. Um, and then you start looking for the next one, and then the next one goes in, you start, you know, you get rolling a little bit. So um, that was definitely a uh, win in my favor. Caleb, why, why do you think the offense, I mean, it looked like you guys had a really good flow. I think you ended up with 20 or 21 assists. Um, why, why, what was clicking? Um, I think guys were just being unselfish, you know. Um, we, we were getting them spaced out, and uh, we were attacking gaps. We were getting in the paint, and uh, we weren't driving for ourselves. And that's something that uh, we, we, that's a step that we've taken in the right direction um, as the season has progressed. Uh, we got in the paint, and we sprayed it, uh, and, and we got easy looks. And um, once, once shot starts to go in, uh, it becomes contagious. Caleb, we had talked a couple weeks ago about you kind of just taking on the role that you had. And, and Kind of sticking with it. There's a lot of guys that kind of go the other way. I guess, I guess what's it like to kind of be rewarded with a game like this? And really, the last couple of games you've had. Yeah, I mean, it definitely feels good. Um, I think in basketball, there's a lot of ups and downs um, throughout the season and throughout a career. And um, I think it's important um, for myself and my teammates to to see it through, um, to not get too low when things aren't going your way, and um, to not get too high when things kind of work out for you. Um, we still have a lot of season left, and um, I'm grateful for this moment, and um, hopefully we can keep it rolling. Martin, was that, I mean, you've worked hard defensively all year, but was that as sort of demanding as, as it gets, what you had to do today? Yeah, just like Coach Max said, the plan was, was kind of hard, but I liked the plan. I like when we hedge out for that uh, on that ball screen. Um, I've, done, I've done a decent job on it, so that's what. But you did it the whole game, right? I mean, sometimes you. Yeah, sometimes we back off of it just yeah. to get another look. But I mean, the the energy we had, the whole team had, you know, that's just press. So it was easy to do. For a lot of teams in this league, I think going into the almost impossible matchup, but what were you able to do today to kind of not only neutralize him defensively, but be effective against him on your end of the offensive floor? Yeah, I mean, he's going to get a couple points just of his presence down there. I mean, um, I, I was trying to cut him off a little bit, get him off the ball, don't don't get him touches, easy touches, make him fight for it. And um, that made my job a lot easier. Um, so I, I thought that was the key. What was the key to making him work defensively against you? I guess what were you looking for? Uh, just set a lot of ball screens, uh, involve myself with the motion we have, and uh, you know just set a lot of screens, off screens, not ball screens, and, and just make him work. And, they're going to commit to something, and we're going to find an open man. What do you call the energy to do? All you have to do defensively and chasing guys out 30, 35 feet, and then also do the same thing offensively, closing up, setting mm -hmm. the screen, slipping, all that leaves. I mean, defense is what get, get, get us going, you know. We, we want to find that energy in defense, and then offense just 
you just are there and just like do do what you do. Martin, anything that you've worked on just in terms of being an offensive rebounder? You had three today, and they were all pretty big. And that team usually doesn't give up many offensive boards. I just wonder, like, have you looked at that part of your game, and, and what have you worked on to produce in that way? Yeah, I usually gotta work pretty hard for those offensive boards, just because they're they're boxing me out real hard and early. But um, I I got a hand on a couple of them, so I I gotta I gotta touch on them and pull it down. Two more for the student athletes. Right. Well, I, I want to ask Caleb. I, the coach McDermott mentioned about you know him not being here. What did you try to do as a senior, just sort of to ensure that kind of what Max said that. You guys still kept focus and didn't have any sort of drop off without the headman there. Yeah, I think uh, my message to the guys was um, to stay present. Um, just because coach isn't here, uh, we still have goals and aspirations for the rest of the season. And um, if we don't stay present and we don't lock in on this moment, then um, we can let it slip away. Um, so all these games are super valuable uh, for the rest of our season. And um, if we want to continue in the right direction, we have to stay focused and just kind of keep that level of maturity from the young guys. And it starts with me and Teeny. All right, thanks guys. Yeah. Questions for coach? Hmm. There's probably a little bit of concern on your part wondering what kind of preparation you guys had this week and then Georgetown's coming off of a high, but they could be let down low. I mean, I guess. What were, how important is that first uh, I think it was really important. Just, you know, if they get off to a great start coming off the great game they just had against Villanova, uh, I think you're you're asking for trouble. And they, they scored on three of their first 16 possessions. Now, we get off to that great start, and then we started kicking it around and had, I think we had one, two, three, four, five, six of our – I guess seven uh, of our, you know, half of our turnovers were in that next 10 possessions. And most of them weren't forced turnovers. They were foolish decisions on our part. So the ball movement early was great. Uh, and I thought defensively they were really, really locked in. And, you know, that allowed us uh, during a time when we were turning it over still, t still to maintain that five or six point lead. Uh, and then we were able to put a couple runs on them. Uh, it, it did seem like you guys played inside out a lot offensively. A lot of threes you hit were. Um, off penetration, and Caleb mentioned driving to create for others. It, was that the biggest key here for your offense to find its rhythm? We felt there were a few guys we could get by uh, and get a piece of the paint, and now you put pressure on Govan and LeBlanc. Uh, you know, LeBlanc has to guard a shooter, which he doesn't have to do oftentimes. So uh, I think you know their defense is much different against us than it is against a lot of teams because of our ability to space the floor, um, and you know even you know Teeny in conference play. Uh, is probably shooting, you know, mid 30s to close to 40 percent from three-point line. So that even pulls Govan away, uh, and allows us to get downhill, allows us to set our feet. And it went in and out of the post a few times for threes. Uh, we touched the paint, we set our feet, uh, made some good passes for threes, and then oftentimes once it was kicked out, we made one more, you know, an extra pass that turned into a good shot. So. Um, you know, we haven't lost confidence in their ability to shoot it. They haven't lost confidence in themselves. Their routine has stayed consistent, and I think if you do that, um, usually good things will happen. How key was Mitch today? You know, he's guarding Morning, Blanc, big squad go, man. And then, you know, he did a good job on the glass, and then he can also push and those guys can kind of yeah. catch up to him. Yeah, you know, he gets, you know, he's not shooting a great right now for Mitch. You know, our, our expectations are through the roof with him. But, you know, he gets six assists, only turns it over once. Uh, and it, that was a big play. I think it was a nine-point game, and if he makes that, it's a seven-point game. They get some momentum. We hit a three on the other hand and make it a 12-point game. So, you know, sometimes one little play like that can turn a game, and it's just an example of not quitting on a play. It was kind of a scrum a little bit, and we were a little bit late with the double team, and uh, Mitch makes the big block. So, uh, you know, he's really valuable to what we do. He's playing with a bad elbow. Uh, it was questionable as whether he was going to play today. Um, He's got an infection in his elbow, so uh, you know we got to get that treated and get him healthy. And uh, but he's he's like you know like Marcus, he's a tough dude. He's going to be out there if he can play. We talked about Martin's work rate right, all year, especially defensively. But I mean today that had to be as one of his more sort of like <clears throat> put it all out there type of games where he had to really work. Well, you, you know everybody talks about how good Jesse Govan is, and deservedly so. But 
you know, Jesse has nine and three and Martina has 22 and 10. And, you know, Jesse's not being asked to stretch out to 30, 35 feet in ball screens. And, and now they get out and run and transition. Um, but, you know, we, we actually, and I think you guys were there last week one time, we had the guards defend the ball screen the way Martin has to, just so they have a sense of how difficult it is. So that when they feel like, I don't really, because what makes that work is the guard has to fight over the screen as well and be active and have their hands active. If Teeny's up there by himself, it doesn't do any good. The, the double team, it has to be both guys. So we flipped it on them a couple of weeks ago and made the guards get out there and stretch out and then sprint back to the basket and then do it again and then do it again. And it took about three or four times and they looked at us like, okay, we, we got your message here. We understand how hard it is. So, uh, and that's where Sam and Christian are still learning. I mean, it's hard to do. Martin couldn't do it when he was a freshman, didn't do it great when he was a sophomore. He's gotten better every year. And now I think he's one of the elite guys in college basketball at being able to do that. Being able to do it and not foul is really difficult. And especially when we're asking him to run the floor offensively as well. Uh, you know, I don't, he might get a little more cranked up when he knows the other guy's getting a lot of attention. Uh, and, you know, the a focus of the scouting report certainly starts with Jesse Govan um, because of the ways he can score. Like Martin said, he's going to score somewhere around the basket just due to the nature of his physical size. Uh, but we got to him for the most part on the three-point line. Uh, but, you know, Martin's been, you know, from a scouting report standpoint, he does a pretty good job of executing what we ask him to execute. Um, each and every game and I think during his career he's, l he's really learned uh, how that can be a difference maker in a game and how it can change the complexion of a game and, and uh, you know you would hope when your guys are older that that, that hits home with them and it certainly has with him. you have a plan for this next week? Finally have yeah. Some time to yeah we'll take we'll take a couple of days off uh, I think they need it uh, and then we'll get back in the practice floor uh, more than likely Tuesday, Wednesday, and then take Thursday off and, and go back at it Friday, Saturday. And obviously that's up in the air due to some recruiting and, and some games that might be canceled that our staff needs to get to. So, um, But we'll take advantage of this week to try to get, get healthy, get rested up, and, and get ready for the stretch run. Yeah, you know, we, we, you know, and I, I haven't really watched it yet. Uh, I, I can replay most of it in my mind, so I don't need, I don't know that I need to watch it. But uh, we probably played one of our best games of the year, really on both ends of the floor. Uh, you know, we did a good job on the Housers. We did a good job on their inside guys. I think he had, I think Howard had 36 maybe at the end of regulation, and something like that. So, uh, you know, it's when he's going like that, he's hard to stop. And, and uh, you know, we'll have to obviously tweak the plan. They're playing with a lot of confidence right now. I had it, it was on in the locker room. And, you know, you can just tell they're playing with joy. They're playing with pace. Uh, they've got a lot of confidence in one another. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're in the stretch run trying to, trying to win a conference championship and try to secure a great seed in the conference tur or in the NCAA tournament. Um, but, you know, we're, we've got a lot to play for. You know, it's an opportunity for a quadrant one win, a great win for us away from home, and to continue to build a little bit momentum as we, you know, we finish the last two games at home uh, before we go to the Big East tournament. So, you know, we've got Caleb and, and Connor who are playing like guys right now that are playing in their last few games as a, as a co collegiate player. Uh, and, you know, they, they want to finish us with a bang, and we're going to do everything we can to make that happen. Anything else? Thank you. Be safe out there. Everybody get a book that needs one?